Cases of patients losing their lives on what later becomes a case of professional negligence are regularly reported in our health facilities. This has in many cases led to a blame game as medical practitioners seek to exonerate themselves. But today the government has acknowledged that the problem is there. People in certain facilities fear to go to fa those facilities because of uh, the, rate, the higher rates of maternal deaths. And according to the Chief Nursing Officer, Medical Services Ministry, Chris Rakumove, the government has put up systems to tame such malpractices. We are going to set up very strong country health systems that can be able to address most of these issues on the ground as they happen. As opposed to now when things have to come from the facility to the district, to the province, and then to Afia House. By the time they reach Afia House, it has taken a bit of time. And uh, by the time Afia House takes action, it's another bit of time. But a portion of the blame should also go to the increasing number of patients seeking medical services from quacks. It's a concerted effort for everybody. The public needed to be aware that they should not be taken care of people who are not properly trained. They should be able to identify some of these things and report them to us. And to this, all health facilities operating without valid licenses will face the ministry's whip. I've been doing joint uh, operation exercises with the regulatory boards and they have been very busy going out and checking on all private clinics. They are checking on uh, training institutions which are training these quacks. And so it is a very massive exercise going on. Rakuom declared the big shortage of health practitioners in the country. He was speaking during the launch of the Nursing Council of Kenya Strategic Plan 2012-2016.